Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the second week of November reads, start from the 8th through the 14th of November 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, let's see what's coming in for you for this uh, week. I will be adding a lot many cards here in this reading, so stay tuned, and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, take whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so let's see what's coming in for you for this week time we do have three of wands i really see you waiting for something that you have intended for yourself to come through uh, something that you have prayed for, something that you want, and something that you desire. But I really feel like you know you are aware of the fact that it might take longer than what you want to wait on for. But you're still waiting on for it. You're still waiting for things to pan out for you in your favor. But I really feel like you know for some reason you you know that it's not going to come right now. I feel like you know there is a sense of knowing from within. You believe that it is. It might take some more time. For whatever reason you do have that awareness around it from you know from divine maybe there is an intuition that tells you probably it's not your fruition time yet um but you're still waiting on for something let's see my cards here five of pentacles five of swords i really feel like you know this week is the time where you are going to be like wanting it to come through wanting something that you want to happen um you're feeling bad for not having it you're feeling not happy for uh, being on the waiting side for it still and I feel like maybe it has taken a long period of time already since you are waiting for it to happen Be that something in your love life work life or home life But I really feel like you know the feeling of not having it already is gonna get intense during this week time you know I feel like you know as if um, Why do you have to be on the waiting side for it? You know, you're gonna start feeling that way you're gonna feel like you know nobody cares for you and uh you are putting yourself there where you are like being taken for granted or not valued the way you deserve to be valued. I feel like you know, it's going to be the time where you can feel like um, fighting for, for you know, um, fighting your inner demons around it. You would feel like, you know, probably you are wrong by giving so much into it, by giving or expecting too much from it to happen. You would feel like pulling away. You would feel like giving yourself a new start without this thing, without this person, without this intention at all. You would want to move on. You would want to move ahead. You would want to explore more options than waiting on for it. Be that a job, be that a work, be that a love life scenario. You would feel like probably it's time for you to move ahead. You know, consider other options. Um, you're going to feel like you, you don't want to wait more. You don't want to... Um, you know, stay there more where you are like, you know, not sure if it's ever going to happen here or not. There is a sense of um, stability that you believe you would feel if you choose to move on. Because it's it's like being here is not happy, is making you happy. So I feel like, you know, you would want to move on, move forward. Knowing that you're worthy of more, you're worthy of more, like, you know, uh, more in love, work or home life. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you would want to move ahead in your life. You're fighting the inner demons and, you know, fighting your attachments to it. I feel like, you know, it's going to be a week where you're going to be wanting to move ahead towards stability. Um, it's hard for you to make that decision, to be honest, where you put an end to whatever it is that you're waiting for. But you will be able to see things moving forward. It is going to get easier for you. Um, I feel like you know, it's more about you making that choice and the rest is going to be taken care of by God, you know, himself. Now, it's very important for you to know one thing. What is it that makes you happy? What is it that makes you feel fulfilled? You know, and taking steps towards that is going to bring you closer to your goal. For very few of you, I feel like, you know, waiting on for this person, you know, even if you decide that you want to, you know, you don't want to wait on for this person and uh, you want to move ahead. And if that doesn't excite you, it's not going to be the case for you. Probably you will choose to be with this person, wait on for this person, wait on for this job. And that's making you fulfilled. I feel like, you know, that's going to be it for you. So I really feel like it's very important for you to determine yourself. What is the right thing for you to do right now? What is the right thing that you desire right now? And then doing the things that makes you happy. So I feel like that is going to determine 
what is the best thing for you to do right now but it is going to be different for everyone out there for some of you or maybe for majority of you you're gonna feel like you need to move on for very few of you you're gonna feel like no you belong to this person you belong to this place so you would choose to wait on for you know for the situation to get better uh, with positivity with excitement around it so whatever is making you excited whatever that is making you happy and stable go for that even though yes there might be moments when you're gonna feel low about it but then eventually when you take a decision you feel like no being on the waiting side is still better than being moving on uh, from that situation to something probably better even though I really feel like and if you choose to move on and you know choose to move on to a better person situation job whatever you will still be getting lucky there but does that make you happy or excited that's the question because I feel like you know for majority of you the sense of belonging that you have towards a you know the thing that you're waiting for is strong so I feel like you know you would be happier having you know what you want coming from this situation and I really feel like you know you you got to just make that choice and everything else is going to work out for you so let's see more cards here what else is the guidance for you for this week time uh secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on i feel like you know for some of you whoever it is that you're dealing with um if you're waiting for them to open up about their feelings if you're wanting them to kind of like you know be expressive the divine really wants you to know that you know this person has more feelings to for you than they are letting on right now uh it's just that maybe they need some more time to open up and to be like you know receptive towards your love and accepting their love for you as well and then open up about their feelings to you but uh for some of you if you're choosing to move on there might be somebody who is having some feelings for you they might open up so if you're sticking around this person having the fear of the unknown and fear of the fact that like maybe you would never get lucky in love again and that's keeping you stuck with the wrong person then it's time for you to move on because there might be somebody out there who has feelings for you so again it's going to be different different for every group of uh, gemini is out there so just pick whatever resonates for you in your situation you are working too hard the angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself straining to many other happy straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health it's very important right now again it's very important right now for you to know one thing you need to take care of yourself you need to know what is right thing for you to do right now you need to know what makes you happy and when you are doing that that's exactly when everything else in your life is going to start working for you um there is a beautiful news coming up for you there is a celebration coming up for you for some of you number 17 could be a significant number or the date for this month as well this is a wonderful time in your life difficulties fall away and the light at the end of the tunnel is a star you can worship on the timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, if and when you decide what you want and you then you stick to that, you are going to be able to manifest your dreams, desires and goals. Um, it's very important right now for you to know what do you want and who do you want it to be with. You are ready to go. There is no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps towards the changes you desire, even if they are small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. I feel like, you know, again, when you decide everything else is going to fall into place for you. So make sure that you take that first step towards it by making a choice and decision in your love life. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And if you're willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for that. Till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and bye.